Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Not Another Gaming Channel. I'm surprised you can talk so well after breaking your neck, dude. I know. Unfortunately, it has left me paralyzed, and now I have to talk like a nineteen, like the fucking guy from the advert for cherry fucking cola dictates. <laughs> Dude, we just had to call an ambulance, and they they insisted that we take Connor to the hospital, but I was like, dude, we've got a fucking gaming channel to record here. And then they spent the time touching my genitalia without my permission. You, you liked it though, really. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, no. It hurt. <laughs> they touched me in the bad place. Dude, bro, you, you forgot to press start. That's because I'm in a cast. <laughs> Do you not realize that I am paralyzed for the wisdom? Except for my penis, which is now paralyzed upwards. <laughs> um, In a constant position. For all those ladies out there. That is not, not a banana not in my pants. Not for all the fucking ladies, because I've got a missus, you douche. I mean, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Just break out of character casually. So, my little idea is, uh, I'm gonna try and come up with uh, some scenes I'd like to see for those people that uh, Mock the Week fans. If you're American, you might not know what Mock the Week is, but it's great. They have whose line is it anyways, though. I know, which is also awesome. Which is like pretty much the same thing. Oh my gosh, that's that. Oh. Wow, good thing you didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, Connor. So, George, to keep your mental sharpness at its peak. How the fuck do you do that? Like, really? You've done it before, I don't know how- I know I have, but yeah. I don't know how to do it. Okay, so... So, to keep your mental sharp at its peak, uh, we're gonna have a game of who's like- uh, not fuck, uh, fucking seems like to see. So, the concept is, it's like, I'm you get given a topic, and then you have to come up with things that fit the topic. Mm -hmm. So, lines you wouldn't hear from- lines you wouldn't read in a historical non-fiction book. Oh Jesus! Do you want to start? Yeah, you know. I'm, it, it's hard to like. Play I'll, pick, I'll pick an actual one. Uh, let's go with something nice and easy. Um, adverts you wouldn't see on TV. Oh. So you know you then have stuff. <laughs> now to demonstrate on how well this microwave works, we're gonna put a baby inside it and see what happens next. <laughs> Come on, Charlie! Oh, I actually did it. Yes. Oh, I still die. Can you just imagine that, like, testing how, uh... <laughs> I was talking to, um, my manager at... New Kleenex Ultra Soft. Blowing your nose has never felt so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was talking to, um, someone from work, and they were saying about how they have basically like, an infant son. And, um, you let them go on, like, YouTube just randomly and... And the like, first thing he comes video. up with. Literally, like, the first two... Fuck's sake, you know, I'm not even gonna try and understand this. <laughs> just bullshit. Um, she comes back after, like, letting my mum the laptop for, like, five minutes. The first thing she sees was a gaming, um, thing with a thumbnail of someone removing a girl's bra. And then the other one with a title saying, Putting a baby in the microwave? Who's your daddy? <laughs> and this is, like, an infant kid and it just showed up and she was like, How the hell did you manage to get this shit on? That is pretty funny. That oh, yeah, is pretty messed up. Sorry, man. I, I completely ruined the game for you. Yeah, man, you failed. Um, it's cool. It's difficult to do without, like, prop guards. It, and it's just difficult to do when you're trying to get over these fucking plates and not break them. They're the planks, mate. That's what I meant to say, Connor. Do you not see that I'm, like, bursting a vein from my fucking forehead right now because of how hard I am? No, I'm too busy looking at your sweet ass. It's really gross, dude. <laughs> But I know that my ass is sweet. Yeah! Oh, ow. My ass is super sweet. And I bet it tastes sweet after that nice fart I did oh, earlier. Yeah, gross mm. fart. I oh, did. I, I totally went for a dump and it was just... I don't, I don't think they want to know. Okay. I'm just saying that it was extra tasty. <laughs> oh, fuck! sake. Oh, look! Oh, oh karma oh. finally decided to bite me in the ass. Good old crash dying animations. Sorry, crash. You don't get to jiggle the boobies now. Big all the jubies. Now to test. Now to test how well this 
Oh, still works. We gotta pull it into the bathroom and see how quickly it kills me. Check it out. Just to prove how waterproof this is. <laughs> <laughs> It's so difficult to do it without like stealing some of the ones from Mock the Week. So we used to play this, because um, I, I was an acting student until recently. We used to do shit like this for improv. Yeah. Yeah, we'd do shit like this. We'd do um, you know, stuff like Grandma's Footsteps, a, game, a really awful bloody game called Madame Gilles, which is the most irritating game in the world to play. Oh, right? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a stupid game. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what do you do in it? Oh, uh, it's like... So you like, they mark out the insides of a house using tape. Mm -hmm. and there's always a corridor, there's always a living room, there's always a kitchen. Okay. Uh, there is always a Madame Gilles, there is always a servant, and there is always uh, a delivery man who's delivering a package. Okay. The delivery man comes by, knocks on the door. He cycles around the house, he knocks on the door. Um, the servant has to go get it. The servant takes it in. Servant... Tries to give the package to Madame Gilles, she doesn't want the package. And then you've got to end up throwing the package out of the window uh, and taking out the um, the delivery guy on the way out, and that's how it ends. But, like, it's all about characters and staying in the rhythm of your character and nonsense like that. Oh, all right. Well, do you, like, improvise everything as you're doing that? Then? Yeah, like, you can improvise a character and you've got to stick with that character in the rhythm they have for the entire game. So you've got, like, a set scenario, but you basically just have to improvise. Set scenario, but the words and shit are all the same. Isn't? I like, see. You just have to, you have to do the three things. Fair enough. Package has to be rejected, the package has to come around the front, uh, around the house, and the package has to end by hitting the fucking guy off their bike. Because <laughs> I've, I've done something like that before, and, um, because I remember when we did drama of um, for G GCSE and then you were based on the whole like Greek formula and then you'd, you'd have to like follow a, a similar process and then yeah. do it into your own play and that was like quite tricky as well because you've got like introducing the protagonist and the antagonist um, and then you've got like the chorus bit yeah, and then work. it's weird because in those in the plays back in those days you can't actually show um, death so then, if you had like a death or something happen for the ending of the play, you would have a messenger come onto the screen and yeah, basically you'd have illustrate. Yeah, you come on and tell you what's been going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Which I thought I thought that was quite fun when um, I did yeah. that. So, w what kind of stuff have you done before then with that scenario? Oh, I don't know. It's like we've done it too many times to even keep in count. Yeah. We've had a really. What was it? Oh, I played the delivery man once, and uh, I managed to turn their entire house into a freaking musical. <laughs> freaking musical things. So I like push the uh, doorbell. I would touch the door and it would start making fat beats. Look at me, press the board. Yeah, and quite luckily, the people I was with, like working with at that particular time of doing it, mm. kind of caught on and were like, "Yeah, man, I'm Jill. You used to be a, you used to be a DJ." <laughs> man. So like, I'd, I'd, walk, I'd cycle round. Guys, did you not hear? Have you never heard of a DJ, of DJ Jewelry? <laughs> Man, she's bringing... With Amy Giles? Yeah, fucking love her! <laughs> fucking hell, mate! She put on some banging shoes, mate, and I would I would love to bang her shoes if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, we had a uh, shit like that, so, you know, I'd press the doorbell. I'd try and, like, touch the doorbell, and like, I'd knock on the door and be like... And stop. Yeah, I'd stop, and be like... <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, stop like that. Yeah! <laughs> Just like, yeah, you know, it's that. Uh... I am such a fraud. <laughs> um... <laughs> I am such a sellout, guys. I mean, for reals. Seriously, uh, like my Facebook page. Yeah, it wasn't actually me, it was our special guest Tom Thumb from 10X. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, no, I can't fucking imitate anything he did. He was insane. Yeah. Oh, did, what, did you see him with, is that like Beardy Man, did you see him with? Oh, I've seen Beardy Man live. That was awesome. He was down in Plymouth. Oh. It was pretty nice week. Oh, the new down. Oh, cool. But no, uh, this Tom Thumb guy. I'll, I'll show you him before the next, uh, when we finish this episode. Okay. Because it's legit insane. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I have... Almost untold amounts of respect for people doing crazy shit like that. Because I've seen like some um, like beatboxers and stuff, which are just like absolutely crazy who are British as well. Yeah. 
Um, Tom Thumb's Australian. Australian. Fucking Australian. Play a didgeridoo, yeah. Oh my god, I died. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Why didn't I go back? Crash, you said, fucking damn it! <laughs> Don't touch me. We, we fucking promised, alright? We made a pact not to touch me. <laughs> Good riddance, I'm dying of shit, Lord. <laughs> Little do the girlfriends know that we're not actually being busy <laughs> about recording. Don't burn. <laughs> Fuck off! You have to. Do you have to like say that every time? Yes. <gasps> you made it! Oh my god! I, Good boy. I did it! Yay! Yay! Oh my god! Can you fucking do it? It's a fucking impressive, yeah? Yeah. 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 Suck it. Oh my god, fucking back here. What a bitch. Tell you that touch stone just ass. Oh my god. What you know that she's supposed to be the thigh bitch? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking break that dick. That sweaty hoe. Wearing the same fucking outfit as me. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Can you believe the fucking no? Oh. That's dude. the thing though. Like, girls get so edgy when they. We realised when they were in like the same outfit to like get together. When guys do it, we're just like, fuck yeah, mate. I don't know. I got really salty when I saw some dude wearing like one of my custom jumpers. Oh really? Yeah. So like, I I have a tendency to order like kind of custom jumpers offline and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. That looks cool as shit. I'll get that. It's got a weird style to it. And I was walking through town the other day, and some guy fucking walked towards me wearing my jumper. Whoa. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Ooh. That's brutal. I don't really know how to do this bit. It looks a bit dodgy. It's pretty simple, George. When the platform goes Yes, out, I I know it, I know you you make it sound it's, Oh! Oh shit! Oh wow, I actually survived. Holy shit! How did I even do that? I'm moderately impressed. I'm a I am a miracle worker here. Man, you know what would be really funny? They just put like a nitro box in there. <laughs> yeah, I just they don't have nitro boxes in this game. They, oh, yeah. they introduced that to uh, Crash Team. Fun fact for you guys, we're gonna end it on that note. Like, literally end it. Is, is that like a secret passage right after the right over there? Mm -hmm. uh, uh oh. Oh no, it's where all the bats died. No, you're right. What? Oh, no, right. No, it's just all the bats died. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we'll call it there. So, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. You better not fucking chill out now, you old. Fucking back here. We know you're fucking seeing that other gaming channel. Yeah, we know you're watching that gaming channel. Because we Fuck are you. fucking new. Are we just not good enough for you? You just have to get your dick wet over so many other fucking girls. I admit. <laughs> fucking horror. Um, how... Right, leave it there. Leave it there. Okay. Fucking next time on... Okay, fine. Next right, time I on just, Game Grumps. I just want to kill this guy. MOG Pro! Woo!